by the way, as far as I understand, the API changed dramatically in MAMO5. So uh, all applications, uh, most applications written for <coughs> previous versions of MAMO need to do a lot of uh, cleanup and uh, we can see big marketplace for third-party applications for this time. What do you expect? Uh, how fast the marketplace will be developed for this uh, platform and uh, do you plan to push this via all the services? Uh, the obvious store will be there with, when, when we start selling this mm -hmm. device, which will be in October, in selected markets. So then we have the kind of de delivery vehicle. Uh, we have now already tens of applications from actually from from the internet tablet times that have been bought it. And yes, they need to do cleaning up. We want them. We want to take this more into mainstream. So yes, we want them to adapt it to this logic. We want them to, that it looks good on the dashboard. Mm -hmm. So yes, we have asked them, please make it so that the average consumer likes it. So yeah, we have we have proactively asked them, but, but we are doing a lot in, in order to facilitate the community. And actually, Russia has a very strong community. So mm -hmm. if, if you think about actually, uh, we use a lot of Mozilla technology in the browser. But then there are some lots of Russians in our R&D that built the, the browser. Yeah, that, there are. I'm not sure, you know this. That, <laughs> not sure how that came to be, but there's several Russians uh, contributing to the Mozilla uh, mm -hmm. project through Nokia. Um, and it's been good to work with those guys. It's not surprising we have a lot of good programmers. Okay. Yeah, very good. So, so they are very active. Like, I mean, in Russia, open source Linux is very popular. I mean, that's, I'm not telling you news there, so... It's, it's a pretty small segment, but yeah, they are strong players. I, I, I fully agree, and, and actually, this kind of... This is the first time that you have really a cult product. That you have a phone, Linux, open source, and with the best spec hardware, all in one package. So I think there will be a very vibrant ecosystem actually jumping on that opportunity. We have partner efforts, like, like we have now either Facebook and other big brands that we are working on. Mozilla guys, we are working already together, and uh, the long tail of application developers, well, we need to get the, the hands first, I and mean, we are showing this today for the first time. The iPhone came with zero apps the first time, so um, with, with Nokia and its global reach and the existing open source community, there's, for example, 250,000 Qt developers that will use the Qt development environment for this device. Some of these 250,000 just want to, want, might to build a cool app here. So I'm quite confident there will be good stuff. It, there might not be the, the one million apps that the, the, the App Store has, but maybe that's not the point anyway. There's a lot that you have stuff that you can change and new stuff all the time. And I think with Linux and a very strong community, you will get that automatic to the device. By the way, about community, it's very funny, but uh, the most popular uh, applications for previous memo devices is Mplayer and SSH. So <laughs> it, 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 it really shows that uh, the most users are geeks. Uh, of, of, of course, you want to make this uh, available for wider audience, for people that are n not so deep into the gadgets. So a, a lot of people were, were hesitant to take an internet tablet because it didn't provide them the cellular function. Mm -hmm. So this have everything in one device proposition. So when you have the full smartphone, like this, or this, and then you had a tablet, a lot of people were not willing to go that step. So that's why we said, okay, we need to have the cellular technology in there, got to be a phone as well. And once we had that, we, are, we can address a much bigger market. But yes, I mean, if you think about Symbian, a lot of people just, I like the UI, I'm mm -hmm. familiar with it, and they will go with that. They don't get the latest technology, mm -hmm. they don't get the multitasking, they don't get the, the full internet browser. They're not aware of it. Well, if you, if you look actually at the buzz that was created by the launch of the N900 last week, actually there's a lot of, we had, we had some over 15 million hits within 24 hours just checking out what this new device is. So, so there's one or two persons that has an interest. So I'll, I think this will work quite fine. So, but yes, we, we, it, it took us two years to go from these internet tablets to something that is, can be adapted. And of course, having a regular phone in one device was, was one of the crucial requirements there. I think it's a big transition here because if 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 you never dig around and look for the terminal, like you have no idea there's Linux under the cover. So if you come from it from a hobbyist or N810 perspective, you know that hey, it's hackable. All the stuff is there. But from a pure consumer point of view, you don't need to know. Mm -hmm. um, and most people don't want to know. They just want all this multitasking and all the messaging. So they just want it to work. But then if you say hey, this under the covers, I can run my SSH and turn my web server on and off and do all this stuff. Like that, those people will show up too. But 
but I think it feels like a consumer product, and, and the Linux stuff is all under the covers, and the community stuff for those that care. But but I think um, you only need to go there if you care about that stuff, and most consumers probably don't. But for those that do, it's it's there. And was it complicated to port Mozilla for this platform? So, no, I mean most of the changes, as Peter said, were around um, around the UI. Mm -hmm. And so, for example, like to be a first-class citizen and fit in well, you want the you want the multitasking button in the upper left. You want the close button a certain way, certain look and feel. Um, and there were some other changes, but essentially, we ran on Diablo, Diablo and Chinook SDKs, so and we ported. I mean, it was it was work, but it was pretty straightforward. And now we're in the polishing phase, so. Um, it wasn't it wasn't a, a bad transition for us. It's just that you want to make it perfect, so you do put the time in to adapt it. Maybe maybe some words about Qt, if possible, about uh, your vision of uh, role of Qt in developing software for my for porting uh, S60 software. Oh well, uh, you should take that one. Uh, we, we, well, I could talk from a Mozilla Qt. point of view, but I mean, from a Qt point of view, I mean, I think if I understand Nokia's positioning. Um, you know, you've got uh, a cross-platform development environment that uh, a lot of developers are familiar with, and I think if that is used to shield the differences between, say, Symbian, Fremantle, you know, and future versions of MIMO, if they can get developers to write to Qt, then they can transition neat uh, OSs and, and toolkits under the covers. So, from a Mozilla point of view, we started, we did an initial Qt port last February, a year ago. So and we're maintaining that, and now looking toward the future with MIMO, we're working harder on that. So you'll you'll see Q uh, get um, part of the Mozilla technology now um, in terms of running on top of, of Q, so that we fit in well going forward. So I think it's um, I think it's a good strategy for Nokia. So what we have said is already that, that for this device there will be a cute development environment available and that's what our recommendation is now for new, new developers coming on board that see the excitement around this device, want to be part of the, of the ecosystem, we recommend to use that cute. So there will be a cute, there's a cute piece of software available for this and we have said already in, uh, in 2010 we will build everything based on cute. So the next release on MIMO will, we will be complete all the apps with cute. So we are actually very strong committed to Qt, and that's that's our message to developers as well. If you start developing now, familiar size with Qt, it helps you the cross-platform to do on Symbian, on a desktop, and who knows what other platforms there will be in the future as well.